What's going on YouTube? This is Necro Steve and it's finally time for week 7 of the Pokemon Premier League. Coming off of a fantastic victory against week 6, up against the Herdier Bremen. Uh, now the uh, Turner City Enters are going to go up against the Nidoqueen's Park Rangers, who of course are coached by Ryquin. This is actually going to be a little bit shorter of a team analysis video because I didn't have time to get it done and we're about to battle in a little bit. But I want to make sure I got some of my thoughts out just beforehand. Um, the team that I'm actually going to be bringing is somewhat solidified at this point. Uh, I've decided to rely on a more standard Lop Honey once again with Return, Power Up Punch, Fake Out, and High Jump Kick. Overall, Lop Honey just puts in a lot of work against his team and Fake Out allows the things that can outspeed me with super effective priority such as Infernape to be kept in relative check. Um, of course, for an infernum can carry its own fake out. In fact, that might even be a good lead for him to have. But unless, uh, depending on what he brings, I'm definitely going to be leaning with Lawplane just to get a free fake out and a free Mega Evolution. Now, uh, another Pokemon that I actually drafted recently, I got rid of Noivern and Levani. I let them both go in favor of Garchomp. I felt like Garchomp is going to be a lot stronger in my future matchups, and I'm actually going to be bringing him to this matchup too. Now it is important to note that my opponent has access to Hydreigon who could be Scarfed and also has access to Mamoswine and Whimsicott. Um, and of course, Hidden Power Ice is pretty common on Infernape, Rotom, Moform, and Dazelf. So those are all things that he can get Garchomp with. But I'm running a slightly different Garchomp spread. It's going to be uh, Adamant Garchomp with a decent amount of speed and attack. I just need enough um, speed to outspeed uh, our non-choice Scarfed Rotom Mo by one point. I have the rest into my HP and defenses to help increase the chances that I can take an Ice Shard or an Icicle Crash from Mamoswine, barring him having Life Orb, of course, uh, with a Yachi Berry. And of course, Swords Dance with Poison Jab, Earthquake, and uh, Stone Edge to hit his entire team super effectively for at least something, basically. On top of that, I'm just going to bring Trick Room Reuniclus back again. Uh, Trick Room Melodicus here. His team is overall pretty fast. I think his slowest member is Steelix, and uh, and that's just the one slow thing on his team. Basically, even Mandibuzz has about mediocre speed at the very least. So Trick Room Melodicus, if I let something go down, bring it in. I have the opportunity to do a little bit of work there with that, just with the standard Psy Shock, Focus Blast, and Shadow Ball type coverage. Uh, so. We're going to have that as kind of a little bit of an offensive pivot. And then to go along with Trick Room Reuniclus, we have a Banded Tyranitar. Um, I didn't get a chance to EV him the way I really wanted him to. I've been really crunched here lately. But that's okay because I had one remaining from a previous breeding session where I just had a perfect one, a perfect Larvitar. And so I trained it up. We're going to go Banded Tyranitar with Pursuit. If I can trap a Zelf um, in, that would be fantastic. I'm expecting him to lead with a Zelf, Rotom Mo form. Um, or Infernape. Uh, if he leads with Hydreigon, then it's probably Scarfed. And of course, he could just lead with Steelix to get up his entry hazards, but uh, that's what we're going to do there. Something really unconventional that I'm going to try in this battle is Scarfed Kabutops, and I will tell you why. Uh, first of all, with the Scarf, I can outspeed everything that he has on his team, um, and I don't think that he'll bring a Scarfed Infernape. And even if he does bring a Scarfed Mammal Swine, uh, Kabutops is my nice switch into ice type moves, and then I can hit it back if he tries to go for ice shard for whatever reason. Um, I can hit him back without sped, outspeeding his priority with my own with Aqua Jet with a scarf. I can do that same thing against Infernape, which would get the super effective, possibly Iron Fist boosted Mach Punch off against Kabutops. I can hit him with an Aqua Jet before he's able to do so. Uh, and I'll have Rapid Spin on Kabutops just in case he does get up his entry hazards. Um, that also will go a decent way to make sure that he doesn't necessarily expect Scarf if I use Rapid Spin. But uh, I this matchup is going to be really, really tough. But I definitely think we can do it. I'm expecting maybe a Scarf on either Hydreigon, um, Rotom Mo, or a Zelf, because he's used Scarf a Zelf before, and I think Rotom Mo before too. Um, Infernape just puts in so much work against my team that I really, really have to make sure I kind of trap it in. And I couldn't bring Statlin to this matchup, of course, because Infernape can have Mach Punch. And so with a little bit of prior damage, Abandoned Infernape Mach Punch can easily KO Statlin too. So uh, that's what we're going to do for this matchup. Wish me luck, guys. And we're going to go into battle now with the Eternal City Enders versus the Nidoqueens Park Rangers. We'll see you after the battle. Have a great week, guys.